Welcome to Spectrum Health TV. I'm joined by Dr. Ed Beaumont, a neonatologist at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Welcome, Dr. Beaumont. Thank you. First question I have for you is, what is a neonatologist? A neonatologist is a pediatrician who specializes in caring for sick newborn babies. And I know at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, you have the 10th largest neonatal intensive care unit in the country. And that care actually dates back to the 1970s. Tell me about the change you've seen over the time. Neonatal care came to West Michigan in the 70s, but actually goes back a little bit further than that into the early 60s. President Kennedy and his wife had a premature baby uh, just prior to his assassination, 34 weeks and almost four and a half pounds. That baby died at just two days of age. Our field has developed uh, a great deal since then, and nowadays babies as young as 23 weeks and as little as one pound uh, survive on a fairly routine basis. So why does a premature infant need a neonatal intensive care unit? The two biggest challenges they face are with breathing difficulty and feeding problems, and this is due to lack of development of their lungs and digestive system, so we have to assist their breathing and then provide them good nutrition. I know patients who are in the neonatal intensive care unit often are in there for weeks, if not months. How do families cope with that? Yeah, the average length of stay is 18 days, and there are some babies and families that are with us for months at a time. It's a very stressful period for the family to go through, and we have a number of uh, ways that we try to help them. We, we actually try to make our unit a home away from home. Really going back almost 20 years now, we have a, a group of parents who have had a baby in our unit previously, and we try to team them up with a current family where they can tell them the experience they had and, and provide a, you know, a, a real uh, direct way of, of trying to help families struggle, you know, get through the struggle that their baby's going through. And I know technology plays a big part in healthcare. How does that affect the care you give in the neonatal unit? Uh, there's been a number of uh, developments in ventilator technology over the years that has made the treatment of the lung ailment better. There are medications that have also been developed to assist with that on the feeding side, uh, better intravenous nutrition, and also supplements for mother's milk as well as formulas that have been developed specifically designed for preterm babies. So how does community support impact the neonatal unit? Through some recent generous donations, we've been able to purchase some new, uh, highly sophisticated incubators to provide a, a good warming environment for the babies. Also some new warming devices to be used in the delivery room right after birth. And then uh, at the other end of the temperature scale anyway, a cooling uh, device. Some babies are at risk for brain damage uh, after delivery and actually cooling their bodies down can protect their brains. Well, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you sharing this information. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Spectrum Health TV.